yeah! Hey guys, it's Mark Shea. You're watching another episode of Exploring Australia. We're doing another bit of gear review. So get ready. Check it out! Baby. Okay, so this was an actual, this find was really interesting. Um, now, okay, I watch, I like I like Corporal's Corner, so if you want to see stuff, some awesome survival stuff and that, and really interesting ways of how to be out in the wild and that, check out Corporal's Corner. Um, yeah, and he does a lot of just like with a tarp. Now I've seen a lot of people with just a tarp, and before I got my tent, I was looking at tarp stuff because it was like, okay, well, even if we go on a day hike, I'd like to have a tarp with me, so that way if we're miles or kilometers from the car or our campsite, and it starts comes over and it starts to rain, we're not going to get back in time. Then I could just whip up a tarp and keep us dry, you know, and that sort of stuff. So that's why I was looking at tarp stuff. I, I you know, I'm, I'm more of a tent person, or you know, I've looked at hammocks, but I like to be sealed in. I hate the bugs, <laughs> I hate mozzies, and I hate flies. So I like something that's got a fly mesh on it, and it'll keep the bugs away, especially when I'm trying to sleep. So I'm not really a tarp person, but I can understand it. I can get it, and worst case scenario, I could use it. And um, Unfortunately, we don't have the selection here in Australia that they do in the States with all these camping tarps. You know, you get a tarp and, or hiking tarps and they shrink down to like the ball, you know, like some of the tarps are like this big. And, um, yeah. It's just, um, just crazy how many, and they've got different tie points and everything else. So, that's when that's when I stumbled across the hiker Rainfly from Oztrail. Now, full disclosure, I am not being paid by anybody. Um, as you would have seen in the tent video, um, uh, you know, look, I went to this website called Snowies, you know, like when I was just looking around and this stuff was just, they got a sale on, it was really good pricing. And everything else, and this fly, the rain fly, hiker rain fly, was thirty dollars. Now I looked online and saw a video where it just looked like, you know, just a big square tarp made out of uh, tent material and um, with four tie down points. Okay, so. What you'll see here is when I first went to set it up, I actually put up a ridge line. And um, then I opened up the packet. And to my surprise, it's like, wow. Um, this thing is big. Uh, I'm really surprised with it. Not only does it come with your four corners and it also has a tie point dead in the center. Now, you know, finding a tarp with a tie point in the middle for different configurations, if you've, if you've had a look at how to set up tarps, you'll know that trying to find a tarp here in Australia is, is hard. And finding these sort of camping tarps are harder because most of it is just big, thick tarp tarps. Um, so I was really surprised when I saw the tie point in the middle now the center has grommets on it, so I guess if you had a, um, a ridge line, you could actually run it from the center point and then have the, these parts out. And you could do a lot. It, it's like, okay, if you see the people that do tarp stuff, it's a longer thing than what they would use. Normally it's sort of like five by seven. And that, um, I'm not sure, oh, this might be two by three, I don't know. But this thing's just really long and narrow. And uh, when I say five by seven, it's like, that's feet. <laughs> um, this is like two meters by three meters. So it's actually a nice long tarp and I'm just sitting right on the end. I ain't gonna show you because my veranda's uh, all dirty, but you'll see me walking around anyway. 
but it's actually quite long and not only did it come with all the tie down points all the tie down points that it has on it built in has um, adjustable ropes you know tension ropes like on a like on a tent um, and so does the center tie point but they give you two extra ropes for the grommets for the two holes with the grommets so if you just want to tie them down in the middle which you'll see what I've done I'll overlay that here <laughs> um, then they've even added eight pegs which is awesome so you have three tie downs on each side two in the center like up here behind me and so they've got peg for every you can peg down every section here and that's just absolutely awesome all this for 30 bucks yeah and like if you know you if you got an idea about um, tarp configurations that's really good because um, like you can do a whole bunch of configurations I am really pleased with this it's uh, how much does it weigh it's like half half a kilo so about a pound I think I think it was when I weighed it I, I weighed it last night um, I was mainly trying to weigh my the tent that I did but like I said I'm not sponsored by Austrail um, this was just great value inexpensive stuff and then to top it off Snowy's are having a sale <laughs> so the Snowy's website here in Australia that um, they've had some great sales there and yeah because there's not a lot of stuff for hiking here in Australia so I'm actually really pleased I'll definitely be going back to Snowy's for more gear when I get some when I get some money because like I said this is all about um, I can't afford the good stuff so this is all about being on a really tight budget so my gear totally comes down to price definitely check out the Oztrail Rainfly I don't need cordage it comes with cordage and pegs you know so this little parcel which you would have probably seen me pull out in the unboxing if you watch the tent video so definitely check out the Rainfly good to have just in a you know if you're doing a day hike throw it in the pack it's only half a kilo which is uh, give you an idea um, think of you carrying around a 600 ml bottle of water it's about that weight and that comes with eight pegs all the tie downs and of course the rain fly so if you get caught out and about you got something to do you got something to throw up and keep dry but yeah oh, I'm really impressed with this so tell me what you think about it in the comments and if you got any questions I'll answer them um, yeah tell me what you think I love it I can't wait to just take this out because another thing all right now I know a lot of hiker hikers are gonna be going yeah you know because weight I've talked about me I don't mind carrying a bit of extra weight but I would actually take this with my tent which would make my tent rig three kilos right so um, well, almost six pounds or something um, six seven pounds I know that seems really what heavy like three kilos but the concept of it is is if, if I know it's gonna rain when I'm hiking I would take this because what I do is I throw this up and then set my tent up underneath and not only would it keep my tent really dry um, it give it, it would give me a chance to set up my tent in the pouring rain without the tent getting wet and the inside and all that sort of stuff because this is a two wall tent so I got to set up the mesh first but this is this is really good but also the tent would fit in here and I'd have I'd still have a veranda I could sit underneath and cook and camp outside of the tent so that's what I'm thinking with this this will be the very first thing I set up when I camp then I set up my tent and I've got a little campsite this is absolutely unreal so yeah guys tell me what you think if you like the video hit like make sure uh, I'm gonna do other videos so subscribe hit notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and yeah anyway guys I just thought you might be interested 
I'm in isolation, so I thought, what the hell, I'll do some stuff with gear and see if, if you guys want to see more, I'll do more. So let me know. And yeah, I'm loving it. I cannot wait for isolation to be finished so I can get out of there and put all this gear to the test. Anyway, guys, I'm Max Shay. This is Exploring Australia. Until next time, see ya!